For practice at self-check 4.1 logical tasks, we are asked to translate the English statements into logical tasks that could be used in an if-else statement. The first that we have is z is odd. So if z is odd, we would have to take the modulus of this and set it equal to 1. And what this means is let's take an odd number. So we'll say 5. 5 is an odd number. The modulus of this is equal to 1, so that means it's odd. If we take the modulus of an even number, which we will use as 4, we'll say z is equal to 4, that means our answer would not be 1, it would be 0 because there would be no remainder. For b, we have z is not greater than y's square root. So first thing that we're going to get is the y's square root. To do this, we'll use math.squareRoots, and then parentheses, we will have y. So this will get the square root of y. z is not greater than. So if z is not greater than, we'll have z has to be less than or equal. So if z is less than or equal, that means it is not greater than the square root. y has to be positive. This is simple, we'll have y has to be greater than zero. Next we have either x or y is even, and the other is odd. We cannot use the and or the or operator. So what we could do is we can test first if x is even, and then we can test if y is odd. The, they have to be opposite of each other because it says the other is odd. So one of them is even and one is odd. To do this, we will first test x first. We'll see if it's even. And to do this, we will use the modulus. We'll say x modulus 2. And it cannot equal, since they have to be different, y modulus 2. And if y is an odd number, then we will get a remainder here. And if x is an even number, we will not get a remainder, or we'll get the remainder of zero. So that means they're not equal to each other. However, if they're both odd, that means the remainder is going to be the same. It's going to be one, and it can't execute. Next, we have y is a multiple of z. So that means y could be, for example, nine, and being a multiple of z, z would be three. That means if we took our z, and divided it from our 9, we would not have a remainder. So we could just do y modulus z, and that has to equal 0. And then this one says z is not 0. So for z to not be 0, that means our z cannot equal 0. Super simple. Next we have y is greater in magnitude than z. So for this, we are going to use math.absoluteValue. The magnitude of this is just a positive number, so we'll have math.absolute, and then inside of our parentheses, we will have our y, and this has to be greater than our z, so math.absolute value, and then z. Next, we have x and z are of opposite signs. So I'm interpreting this as one of them has to be positive and one has to be negative. So for this problem, we are going to set x has to be greater than zero. So we will say x has to be greater than or equal to zero. And this also has to equal z being less than zero. For this one, I'm going to say that y being non-negative, meaning y has to be greater than zero. Actually, it can be greater than or equal to zero since zero is not a negative number. But we're also going to have an and in here. And this and is going to say that our y has to be less than 10. That way it is between 0, including 0, and also including in between 9. Next we have z is non-negative, so we're just going to say z has to be greater than or equal to 0. x is even, so that means we're going to have x modulus 2 has to equal 0, similar to what we had at this front part up here. This should have a doubles equal because we're just checking if it's equal to zero. We're not assigning it. Lastly, we have x is closer in value to y than z is. First thing that we need to note is that since we are calculating range, we need to use absolute values. Otherwise, we are going to mess it up if we have a negative number or a positive number. We are going to have a math dot absolute value for both of these. And in this first one, we are subtracting x from y because we were trying to see if x is closer in value to y, and then next we're gonna see if z is closer to y. So if x is closer to y, we will get this value, subtracting it, and just to keep things same, we're gonna have y on the right side of the equation. So we're gonna have another math.absolute value, and then in here we will have 
z minus y. x has to be closer in value to y. That means there has to be a smaller range here. So we're going to have to have a less than in the middle right here. If we submit this, we have passed all but this test. This problem is not particularly great. It says that practice it needs the answer to be exactly matching to their answer. Even if it's correct, it won't be marked correct. However, these are the correct answers and this 100% works. And that is all of the answers for practice it self-check 4.1.